what's up everybody it's october 12 2021 um and i wasn't going to do an aftermath video because it was just you know not not much but uh you know what i figured i'm being lazy if i don't do it <laughs> and i enjoy getting to do videos for you guys so this is the snow aftermath for our first snowfall of the season i hope this guy slows down he might slip on all the snow Oh gosh, guys, we need to avoid this huge snow berm. Oh, no, there we go. All right, cool. Wow, that was scary. That was freaking scary. All right, here's the golf course. Man, look how pretty that place is. I love that place so much. Hope it's not too loud out the window like this, kind of halfway. I just want you guys to see how beautiful the golf course is. Wow. It's just so pretty. How are you guys today? Hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful day. At least it's beautiful up here. I can't tell you guys how many times I drive down the mountain. It's totally clear up here like this, just beautiful. Like, and, and I'm, I'm not even thinking about a cloud. It's just perfect like this. And then I drive down and then driving through like really thick clouds and then you get down to the ground and it feels like there's, there's like a storm above you. It's so cool. It really is, it's so damn cool. Um, thank you guys for all the beautiful comments. You guys are so sweet. It just, it, it's just, it's remarkable the love that is, uh, that is so just selflessly given away, which love should be given away always. And uh, I'm very honored to have you guys in my life. Thank you. You guys freaking rock. Look at some of these trees, man. Look at some of these. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a beautiful place. Back and check out Bear Mountain for just a second. I used to work right there, as you guys have heard a million. Every time I drive by it, I always talk about how I miss working there. Yeah, there's a oh, there's a little couple little patches of snow up up at the top there. But we're gonna go up here to two N ten, you guys. This is where we're headed right now, two N ten. Windshield glare really sucks, you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so it's really beautiful up here a lot of time. Like, like I, I think we get 300 days plus of, of just sunshine. But yeah, it's so cool leaving town and not expecting what I'm always hitting, which is just like a marine layer. And then, yeah, it's... <laughs> and then you get down to the ground and it feels like you're... Feels like the clouds are way the hell above you and and to think that i live way the hell above the clouds that's just so cool okay guys we're at the top here this is 2n10 this is where you will come into the that road 2n10 look it's open right now but i can't go i can't go right now it checks out let's take a if you guys want to snapshot that i hope you guys can can read that So that's the off-roading. This is so beautiful, guys, going through here. I'm telling you, there are so many different routes in here, but stay on 2N10, and it lets you out over um, kind of by, by Magic Mountain, where those, uh, not in, not down the hill Magic Mountain. Oops, I need to go. Something's coming up here. Damn it, man. Damn it, man. Hang on a second. Thank you. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, yeah, that's this road right here. Just follow it down so you can see. It's really easy to get to. I mean, just simple. And it's got some spectacular views um, on the back side of Snow Summit. So yeah, you turn around, go back up there, go through that gate. Stay on the, the 2N10 um, because some of the, the other ones are pretty, t uh, tough to drive like you'll need a car with a lot of clearance um so yeah uh but 2n10 they i think they just redid it we went on it one time i think we did a video this season. yeah we did of 2n10 so it's done well um you guys will be safe um believe it or not like five or six years ago i actually had to rent a car up here 
my rent, my insurance company gave uh, gave me a one day rental for work I was having done on my other car, and I took it. It was like it was like a like a Camaro. <laughs> I took the Camaro on the two N ten. The whole thing, <laughs> um, yeah. So, but the whole point of saying that is that you guys will be safe. You guys will be okay on two N ten. We're gonna pull into the Bear Mountain parking lot real quick. Oh, no, we're not. There's an employee right there, damn it. Damn. We'll go to the other end. Um, it's beautiful on that road that we were, we were just on when you get through that fence. Um, as I said, you're driving right behind Snow Summit Ski Resort. And there's places you can, you can kind of pull off and park if you know exactly where you're at. And then literally just pull off and park and walk up to the top. And it's... It's like 70 yards, not even. It's like 50 yards. And then you're at the top, at the very top of, of Snow Summit, at the top ski lift. The very tallest, highest po point, basically, no, at the same place that I just did the video from the other day when we rode up the ski lift just to get the nice summer views. So yeah, it's, uh, it, you walk up to that same spot. I was taken, I was taken aback. I thought I stumbled on like a different ski resort somewhere else. I had no idea because I was at the top of the damn mountain. So yeah, that road takes you, obviously it's up in there, up in that area and it takes you up. It takes you up and then you just continue going on that direction. Choo. So yeah, um, I suggest you guys try it. If you don't have a four wheel drive or all wheel drive vehicle, I wouldn't suggest doing it, but rent something, it's worth it. Um, it's gorgeous guys it's it's a whole nother world up there it's spectacular there's so much beauty up there i i, don't, I, I can't even begin to tell you guys you just have to see it for yourself but yeah it lets you off over on the other side of uh the village basically and it's just it's just pretty remarkable the whole entire time you guys would be blown away check out some of my videos of the 2 and 10 it's the number two the letter n capitalized and then the number 10. So guys, this is where I used to work. I tell you guys all the time. I'm gonna show you the door that I used to walk into every day to start my shift. And then I'd cook at that, at this barbecue, right up there at the top, that little roof right there. I'd cook right, that's like, that, that's the main barbecue here. So I was, man, it, it was so cool. And a lot of you guys, even three or four years ago, would notice me. Hey, what's up, dude? How are you guys doing? What if you guys bought me a brand new GoPro like four years ago? and brought it here. She is such a sweetheart. I haven't heard from her in a long time. Melissa and Dominic. But yeah, guys, that's where I that's where I used to work. It was so much fun. Man, it was so much fun. And my boss, Steve LaCroix, he was the best. He was the best. Anyway, we're gonna bounce out of here. Um, we're gonna drive up to the top of, of well, the highest point that we can get to at Bear. Just take a little look down the run to see how the valley looks. I think we can get a little bit of a lake view from up there. So, look at this view though. Look at how beautiful that is. And that is, that's something. That house right there on the corner. Just freaking gorgeous. All right. Yes, here we go. We're going up there. So this street right here is called Lassen. When you pull out of the parking lot for Bear Mountain, this is called Lassen. The, remember, the way I remember this street is because, oh man, I miss my grandma so much. She lived on a street called Lassen when I was growing up in Irvine. And uh, yeah, a lot of the streets up here, I <laughs> that's how I, I remember them. I don't know if that's a weird process, but uh, yeah, that's, that's how I remember things. Look at this. Here's the Bear Mountain. We're gonna roll down the window. You guys are gonna be here sooner than you think, I promise. All you skiers and snowboarders, I'm really excited for you guys to come up here and, and kick some arse and take some names. Hey, look at how green and thick this is. Oh, there's a little patch of snow right there. Look, there's another little patch of snow. Ah. Top, so we just keep on going. We hang to the right. Just keep on going. Where we're going, it's for employees only. So I just because it, well, it 
says dead end. It says dead end, but I just keep, I keep on going straight, and it's an employee lot. Um, I think some of the, the the snowmakers. Oh my gosh, look at the snowmakers on. I mean, it's not on, but it's spinning. That's freaking cool, guys. I think they're gonna start making snow tonight. That's what my, that's what it's looking like. Guys, dude, we're gonna be making snow tonight. Oh my gosh, I could be crazy and drive out here, couldn't I? Don't do it, Nick, do not do it. You'll get in so much trouble. You'll get in so much trouble. Look, look at, look at the back of the machines. They're spinning. Can you guys see on, on the ground down there, those two? That's not from the wind. There's, there's some electricity being pumped into them bad boys. So what we're gonna do right here is just uh, first of all, look at this scary ski run right here. Look, here it comes to the left. Boom! That's called Geronimo, I think. I think that's Geronimo. Either way, you'll be yelling Geronimo the whole way down. I'm telling you. All right, let's just check this out now. Oh my gosh, you guys, this place is so amazingly beautiful. pops up as an option that's cool man i usually just just let it guys like like that's what i do i i just let it do what it does uh when i upload the stuff that's why it's so beautiful that, that this is a passion you know because it's just it's just it's always fun and stuff like look at these trees like it's just and look at these houses imagine it being able to rent one of these during ski season. Oh my gosh, you could just jump out here with your ski pass and just start at the top of one of the runs. Right here, this is uh, like the, uh, it's called Easy Street, I believe. May, uh, these are the, uh, the runs for newcomers. And guys, this place has incredible instructors. Snow Summit and Bear Mountain, just full of awesome instructors who are so much fun. This is where I learned when I was 11 years old, right here. That's a big reason why I, I love it up here too. But my friend in that house that, I, uh, that we stayed at the Airbnb uh, last weekend, he introduced me big time to uh, to Big Bear, and it became like my favorite place to go. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Had a great time. Here. And guys, my best friend's coming up today. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing him. I haven't seen him in like three weeks. Guys, look, I know I'm in the middle of the street, and I always tell you guys, please don't stop in the middle of the street. There's no one behind me. This road's dead. I'm looking in my rearview mirror. I just, I mean, this is just epic. The beauty. Amazing. And once again, thank you guys for all the kind words and compliments. Like it's it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You guys are you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, I love doing this. I love doing this. And you guys, uh, you guys make it freaking ridiculously awesome. So we just came from here. And that road you guys will be going on will be on the other side of that mountain right there. 2N10. I really hope you guys do check it out. Check it out. Right here, this is the old zoo to the left, which I should have pointed that out. Up there, you, you enter from that street gold mine right there, which is where you can enter the parking lot for Bear Mountain or the or the uh, uh, golf course. But yeah, I've, I've been to the zoo here. Our good friend Gabriel Magana on this channel. He actually bought me an annual pass, you guys, for that place. Twice now. I'm, I'm the second one. Uh, he, he's, he's been telling me to keep my eye out for it in, in the email. There's the golf course. Oh, man. So I've been, I've been keeping my eye out for it because I really want to go to this, uh, this new zoo. Guys, look at this, man. 
That's hole number one. And then hole number two, the tee box is right there. Oh man, just a beautiful, beautiful spot. I wish we had more snow to kind of make it a little better. Actually, a lot better. But this is what we do, you guys. I want you guys to see this this place pre-storm, during the storm, and after the storm. It's what I've been doing ever since I started. If you guys, guys, go back to like, like click on click on videos and then go back and, and then click on oldest to newest not newest to oldest and dude there's so many videos that don't even have any views like it like but remember you guys like i didn't expect i'd ever get a subscriber from this i posted i post these videos here originally as a free place to store videos because i couldn't afford a thumb drive so i thought i was like being so smart and beating the system and it was just like i was like heck yeah like i, I can post all these videos and so, yeah, I was recording a lot, and I had really the cheapest cameras because I had no, I had nothing. I had the cheapest cameras where they would do like three-minute video clips. So some of my hour drives, there'd be like part 20 of 20, <laughs> you know, like. But yeah, it's the videos are still gorgeous. There's a lot. It's it's definitely me more unplugged, you guys. Like uh, uh, when I first started this channel, I was I was I had a mouth on me, and uh, I would get. I would, oh my God, every other word was the F word. Like, like I was, it, it was pretty bad, but once people started subscribing, I couldn't believe it. And I was so, un, so unbelie unbelievably amazed by that, that um, I was, I, I became super grateful for it. And I didn't want to offend or, or hurt anybody's feelings, especially knowing that like kids watch this channel and moms watch this channel. Um, so yeah. And it was it was easy. Like I'm st I'm still the same guy. I just I just don't have to use curse words. And it's not like I'm like I have pent up curse words that want to come spewing out. It's not it's not like that. Um, I, I can I can get rid of things uh, without having to say the f word anymore. It was a little a hu uh, no a little huge amount of growth thanks to you guys guys look at look at these trees look at these trees look at the colors look at the colors i said look at the colors man okay you know what we're, we're gonna we're gonna go down here we're gonna take switzerland it's the closest parallel road to snow summit um and so there might be there might be a little snow on that road but it, it it's a it's usually a pretty messed up little road, especially at this end of it up here. So watch. So we're going all the way almost to the end, and then we turn onto a dirt road, and, we, and we'll take that all the way to Summit Boulevard. Take a brief look at what's going on at SumSum. What's up, SumSum? Hi. We're going to go to SumSum. <laughs> and eat some SumSum and smoke some SumSum. And, uh... Yeah. Oh my gosh, someone's flying up on me here. Okay, we're turning here. Look at this, look at these colors. The trees are amazing. Okay, we're on Switzerland. And check this out, there's a United States Marine Corps, um, like a, a camping area or like something. I've been back here one time and it's huge, you guys. It's such a huge campground. And they have huge homes back here monstrosities you guys just monstrosities it's very big these homes oh my gosh like just take a look i mean look at how huge yeah this street has some of big bear's biggest and finest i'll tell you that look at this one look at, look at this place holy moly guys are you kidding me with this place I see it every time, but I always forget how huge it is. It, it, it doesn't even fit in the camera, the whole place. Holy moly. You guys, wouldn't that be nice? Look at those colors again. Okay, let's take a look at this house here. I just want you guys to see, like, 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 we have really nice, oh, look at that putting green. Really nice parts of town that are just gorgeous. I mean, the whole, every part of town is gorgeous. What, what I meant by that is that we just have like uh, some like Beverly Hills style homes here, man. <laughs> it's crazy. 
I mean, and some of these ones that look small are not small at all. Oh, look at how big this one is. You can't fit that one in the camera. Man, man, and it goes way back. Guys, oh my gosh. Look, I mean, seriously, look at, look at how far back that house goes. Holy smoke. And then this is someone's huge property. Oh my God. Sorry guys, this stuff just gets me excited because you only live once and I'd be so stoked if I could afford something like this. If I could, I promise you, you guys would have an open door policy to come up here and just spend the night and hang out. Just take one of the 3,700 rooms. Hopefully I see you. <laughs> Look at that, just gorgeous, man. Unbelievable. I don't remember ever seeing, seeing this one because I'm always driving by so fast. Okay, this is where the road can get treacherous. A lot of times there's some really deep potholes. I know they fixed them this last year which was good, but they come back super quick and we haven't even had any snow really up, well, last night, obviously. And look, I can already see a couple bottles already. And we haven't even had any snow. Oh my God, look at these. Just incredible. Oh, look at that house, man. Unreal, guys. Imagine what this looks like with snow everywhere. You're gonna not have to imagine for long, you guys, because we'll be right, we'll be back here. Oh man. Okay, this is this place is ridiculous. This place is ridiculous. Can you guys see that? <laughs> oh wait a minute. No, this place is ridiculous. They are all freaking ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Anyway. I'm, I just love this, you guys. I love this. Sounds like, oh, this, oh, sounds like a fire. Now we get into the regular size homes over here, which are like 7,000 feet. <laughs> now this is still one of the huge ones. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Thelma. Jeez, Thelma. All right, guys. Hang on a second. Once we actually get, like, some more storms, we'll be doing our regular going around the whole lake and stuff like that. Because there, it's <laughs> you get significantly different amounts of snow just in an eight mile difference. Big Bear Dam to the other side of Baldwin, it's eight miles. Something like that, eight miles. Up there. Yeah, the mountains closed now. That's crazy. What a sad, sad, sad state of affairs. These poor guys, man. That staff was so awesome, huh? When we, went on the, when we went on the ride up, they were so cool. Construction there and cleaning everything up, so the guy asked me to turn around. So I bounced. So sad, but I bounced. All right, I think we're good on the video, you guys. We're gonna head down Ever. Look at how cute! Look at how cute! All right, gonna head down Evergreen here. One day when we're driving on this street, we're gonna play that Evergreen song by Barbara Streisand. I promise you, I will. And yeah, it's gonna be a little embarrassing, but when I was a kid, I liked it. I was a little kid, and my mom always played it. And my mom's my, my my hero, my idol. So it always, yeah. But obviously with my friends growing up, like, oh dude, I would never ever say that I liked that song in any way. <laughs> Cause I cared what people thought. And unfortunately, you know, I think people with a conscience tend to tend to be that way. It's the, it's the sociopaths you wanna be very, very weary of and stay as far away as possible. 
as far away as possible. Look at these trees. Look at that redness. All right, guys, hold on. We're going to... There's no one, no one behind us. Look at how beautiful that is with the house in there too. Jeez. Guys, I mean, this is, I really am lucky to live here. Look at these red ones, man. Oh, bro. Bro and sis. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's so beautiful. This year, it seems like we have a lot more fall colors than I've seen so far. Guys, keep in mind, like, over a month ago, I went out to, because I was golfing a lot, and then some 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 things happened, and I had to take a little bit of time off, but uh, um, I was going out there a lot, and one morning, I was there for my tea time, and we had to be postponed one hour because we got frost overnight. I mean, it was white everywhere. It was crazy. Over a month ago, you guys. Just so you guys know, Big Bear has seen snow 10 of the 12 months on record. I think it's July and August where we haven't recorded any snow. But Big Bear has seen freezing temperatures all 12 months of the year. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, guys. Cheers to you guys. Hope everything's going great with you all. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being part of this. Um, I mean, seriously, and, and go back and check out some of the older videos and just, and just see how much I've grown. <laughs> seriously. I love you guys, man. Take care. October 12th, 2021, Big Bear Lake, California. Right now it's 2, 220. I wasn't going to do this video. Don't forget you guys, but I want to make sure that I'm consistent with what I do. So take care of you guys. I love you all very much. And uh, I, can't, I can't wait to get to meet all of you in person. Shake all of your hands, give you all a big hug. You're very special to me. Thank you for everything.